Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Larry Lewis. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm a local gym owner and local brain body f fuel influencer out here in Phoenix. And just like the rest of you guys, I'm out here submitting my scholarship entry to uh, potentially be one of ISSA's uh, certified trainers. Hey, so a part of the application process entails of answering four questions. The first question is, why is personal training vital to achieve success in your education or career? And just having a good understanding of what you're going to be talking about and also putting people through, such as exercises, you got to understand what are you doing before you do it. Um, and me being blessed enough to, you know, actually be a D Division One collegiate athlete, I've uh, taken prereqs that's also strengthening my knowledge and uh, health and wellness um, education. I've also went through it myself. So I, I'm, I'm practicing basically what I preach because I went through it. And also I kind of had the best of both worlds from being able to work with some strength and conditioning coaches who played in the NFL and deal with high-level athletes. So with me utilizing my four years of collegiate uh uh, basketball, I have the chance of picking their brains, seeing how they operate, um, you know, seeing how they put together the uh, strength and conditioning programs, and it has really put me in a different level. The second question is, what motivates you to achieve your education and fitness goals? And as far as what motivates me to achieve my education goals is just the opportunity of, uh, you know, of just learning something new. You know, I, me being a trainer, I'm always willing to learn not only from my clients that I deal with now, but also from other trainers um, that I know. You know, I, from time to time, um, I go from state to state, you know, and I train with some of my buddies in California, learn things from them. And, I you know, I train from uh, people in state, in town, in Phoenix, out here in Arizona. And just being open-minded, and knowing that there's always some new information to be learned is just what motivates me, you know. And then as far as fitness goals, I'm always wanting to, you know, just be in that much better shape. Like I said in the last question, with me being a collegiate athlete, you know, I always want to keep up with the young pups is what I call them, you know. So as I'm getting older in age, um, you know, I play pickup from time to time. Um, you know, I always want to be able to keep my cardio up and always, I'm always looking for new ways to just get better. You know? The third question is, give an example on how you've overcome or helped others overcome adversity. Uh, I'm going to answer both. So the so for how I have overcome adversity is my senior year in college, you know, I had all the aspirations to go play pro. Um, five games into my season, I'm averaging 20 points a game. I'm on the plane coming back um, to campus and... Due to a prior injury I had four years prior to the, my last injury, which was in 2018, um, on the plane I realized that my you know my knee had swelled up and I and I pretty pretty much knew what was going on. So when I got off the plane, um, you know I went to go get it checked out, go to the doctor, got an MRI, got a uh, scan and all that good stuff. Comes back, I, uh, my my bone has kind of shifted in my left knee. And, um, and I, I had I tore my um, my meniscus on both sides, so I needed surgery, and a doc and a surgeon recommended that I didn't play and I didn't finish my season. So, you know, as bad as that was for me at the time, it was really hard for me to deal with. You know, um, I didn't want to let my team down. Most importantly, you know, um, so I, I had to, you know, I had to make a decision. You know, and I, and I and to this day, I think I made the good decision. I I try I finished the season. You know. Even though I couldn't play as much, you know, I was still there and high spirited, uh, kept my energy up, kept motivating, kept being me. You know, I didn't let that beat me. And I think that was the biggest thing about that is that I didn't let that win. And I overcame that, you know. And as hard as it was for me to, to not to play and want to get out there and compete, you know, it was something bigger that God had plan, planned for me. And, you know, and just me pushing through that situation, I know I inspired and motivated the players who was active and and could have played, you know, I gave them more of a reason to play for and win. And that's the same thing that I do with my clients today who I train and have the pleasure of training them. I, you know, I just tell them, you know, there's always something greater than that pain you feel today. There's always something greater than, you know, your legs burning or that burnout session, you know. So at the end of the day, I always tell everyone, you know, there's always more light at the tunnel. Just the fourth and final question is, what do you plan to do with your certification once you complete the course? 
And if I'm blessed enough to be one of the chosen few to be one of ISSA's certified trainers, I'm going to take everything that I learned throughout that course and not only apply it to my business, but also apply it to every single individual I have the pleasure with the training. There's nothing I want more than to have people come to me with fitness goals that I thought were once attainable, and I help them overcome them goals and create new new ones. I just want to give a special shout out to not only Rain Body Fuel, but also ISSA for also allowing me to be uh, able to enter this scholarship entry. And thank you so much for tuning in. I hope I'm one of the chosen few. Um, I look forward to hearing from you guys.